Hey guys, it's Linux next year, and today's video we are gonna be looking at the NVK NVIDIA open source user space driver on Linux today. Uh, it has been quite a while uh, since the last time I decided to test NVK. Roughly nine months ago was the last time I tried testing it. And at that time, NVK wasn't really uh, that great in my opinion. There was a lot of things uh, missing, uh, a lot of functionality with the drivers where uh, basic things weren't really working properly. Uh, the basic like desktop was working, but a lot of other things weren't working. And so uh, I decided, you know, with uh, Mesa 20, 5.0 coming out and NVK improving on that front and using the Mesa Git version with NVK, uh, there is a lot of improvements to show uh, when it comes to either it be the gaming side of things and with the OpenGL getting switched over to Zinc, which I'll explain what that is. So the first one that we are gonna go over is what is NVK? Well, it is a Vulkan driver that is in uh, Mesa, 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 whatever you want to call it. It is similar to the REDV drivers on an AMD GPU. When it comes to if you want newer features for your graphics card, or if you want improvements with gaming performance, you would update your Mesa to get those newer features. So with NVK, uh, they've been working on it really hard, I would say, for the past uh, two years, or well, even longer probably, uh, of trying to get this drive user space driver up and running and when it comes to what graphics cards are supported on nvk it says here that nvk currently supports touring in later gpus eventually we plan to support as far back as kempler g4 600 700 series gpus but anything pre-touring is currently disabled by default so if you do have touring or above you're chilling, you can try it out, you can test it, uh, you can muck around with games and all that, but if you're below that, you're not able to use NVK and you'll have to use the proprietary driver or the um, legacy proprietary driver if you're on a really old uh, NVIDIA GPU. So now that you know what NVK is, the other big important thing that happened recently was that the Zinc API is being used by default over OpenGL. Now, what is Zinc? Well, it is a Vulkan API that is trying to translate OpenGL. So kind of the same with DXVK or VKD3D. It is trying to just translate those calls to a different API, which in this case is OpenGL to Vulkan, which greatly improves performance on NVK. Well, on proprietary NVIDIA drivers, it's not that much of an improvement. It's actually a bit of a performance loss. So as uh, Michael made a post here, as a sign of the times for both the NVK open source NVIDIA Vulkan driver within Mesa and the generic Zinc OpenGL on Vulkan code with next quarter's Mesa 25.1 release when using an NVIDIA Turing GPU or newer with the, I'm not going to say that word because I'll muck it up, driver stack, it will now default to using Zinc atop NVK for OpenGL rather than the existing NVC0 Galilium 3D driver. So if you are, uh, well, of course, Mesa 25.1 isn't released yet. So you have to use Mesa Git, which is what I'm going to be using in today's video to show off some of the gameplay of what games work and how the performance is going with it. And when it comes to Zinc performance also in something like Minecraft. So with that out of the way, um, I'm going to show a bunch of different gameplay of the NVK driver versus the nvidia proprietary driver so this is on an rtx 2060 6 gigabyte vram uh, model and the nvidia proprietary driver is the 570.133 i think it's called uh, that is the stable nvidia driver i'm pretty sure and we are on cache's os so with that out of the way you guys can watch the gameplay and see what you think of the performance and i'll come back to uh just do a conclusion of my thoughts about the nvk uh versus the proprietary nvidia driver
The Galactic War waits for no one. Are you ready, Helldiver? Proud to serve by your side, sir. Helldiver, stomp any bugs lately? So do I think NVK is uh, good enough today? I would say no, not yet. When it comes to the gaming side of things, it is not ready and it's still missing a lot of things and it does have problems. Uh, I was going to list the problems at the start, but I'll list them now. Things like uh, Manga HUD, for example, if you saw in the gameplay comparison, uh, Manga HUD wasn't working in some games because if you tried to enable Manga HUD, it would freeze the game. Uh, so that's one issue. The other one is uh, OBS recording with the XG desktop portal. Uh, try to capture the screen. It's extremely stuttery, but when you watch the actual video footage it looks completely normal and the fact that some games do tell you that you have out of date drivers because you're using nvk and the games don't really know uh, or proton doesn't know about nvk really that much yet so I do think, uh, you know, nine months from now, or let's say like two years from now, uh, the NVK driver could be good enough 
for the majority of things. Uh, when it comes to also like the encoding side of things in OBS Studio, you're not able to use NVENC. NVENC is not available. CUDA isn't available with NVK. Uh, but there is stuff like the Vulkan encode uh, thing that is arriving soon, and it's being supported in Mesa a lot with different uh, Vulkan drivers like NVK. So it's not like you'll be missing that much let's say two years down the line i think things like vulcan encode will probably be available encode and decode will be available for nvk so you can kind of do some things with it and it'll just be another case where kind of like with the amd side of things you'll have to have the you know if you want to play games with the, the best performance you'd probably use the nvk driver plus nova if that's ready by then and then when it comes to like light encoding uh you would use obs or maybe gpu screen recorder but when it comes to the more enterprise side of things you're probably going to have to use some type of runtime uh, like on amd you have to use the rocm runtime to use like hip on nvidia side you probably have to use some proprietary runtime or you would have to use the proprietary nvidia driver itself if you want to do those things so I would like to know your thoughts about the NVK driver. Uh, has it been uh, better for you when it comes to testing it? Uh, what well, you know, like when it comes to performance-wise of things, do you think it's going to improve? I definitely do think it's going to improve. I've watched some uh, YouTube developer. Uh, conferences about their um, what they're going to do in the future and all that and things like VKD3D for example will get improved on NVK that's just something that they haven't got up to yet but as we saw some VKD3D games actually do work so if you guys did enjoy this video, I definitely would give it a like. I definitely would subscribe to the channel. And thank you to my supporters also. I'll show you a text across the screen. Thank you for giving me money every single damn month. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.